Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're actually going to check up with my friend Justin and his go-kart that he's building for this year's autocross season. Um, I'm pretty sure it's pushing about five to 10 horsepower. So we're gonna go down to his shop and check it out. I'm pretty sure he just put a muffler on it, or at least he bought one, but he's working on it tonight. So we might get to help him out with that. But that's the plan, it's a really nice day out today. Um, the rest of the week is supposed to rain and I'm supposed to autocross again this Saturday. If you didn't see last Saturday's autocross video, I'll link it right here. And uh, if you enjoyed this, just give a like and tell your friends about my channel. But I'll see you guys in just a few seconds. All right guys, so I just got out here. I'm gonna try to use my headlights for some lighting right now because it's pretty dark out here. This is the warehouse that we're gonna be checking out the uh, go-kart in. They're out at dinner right now, but it's inside. We have Justin's MG over here. So he bought an old MG and I'm pretty sure he's fixing it up. So let me head over here and I can show you guys it. So really nice, beautiful blue paint color. Yeah, it's a really nice car. All right, so I got here to the warehouse with the go-kart and uh, this is Justin. <laughs> So, uh, Justin, you want to tell me a little bit about this go-kart and the progress? Yeah, so this is a vintage go-kart. We're not really sure what year it's from or what maker model it is, but it's sometime from probably the 80s or 90s. And uh, when I got it, it was all sorts of rusty and beat up, and it had been used, like, out in the mud. So it's got some, uh, some wear and tear on it, but we took it all apart, sanded it all down, primed it, painted it, uh, painted it Kawasaki green. We went through, we put all new hardware on it. We're putting... Uh, we did, you know, pretty much everything. Got a new sprocket on it. We bought a brand new motor for it. It's a Predator 212 with, right now we've got a carb worked onto a new jet, new emulsion tube. Oh, we've got a header and an intake on it with a air filter somewhere up here. And we've got a pulse fuel pump installed, uh, governor removed. And yeah, I mean, we've, we've pretty much got it all set up. We're gonna do autocross, so we've got a symmetrical setup. We've got uh, same with tires on the front, and, or same with tires on each side of the cart. So narrow ones in the front, wide ones in the rear. And that's what the Hoosier's down here for, right? Yep, this is the nine-inch wide Hoosier race cart tire that we're putting on the rear here. Picked up about as wide as that. Five dollars. Five dollars a piece, brand new. Yep. And uh, yeah, we're gonna be running it out at the autocross event. Sweet. Hopefully so uh, we might be able to compare some times when we race and see who's faster. You know. Yeah. See what the uh, the, the heavy... power to weight distribution yeah. is. <laughs> well, sweet. I'll uh, play some clips of the startup and some of the revs and we'll get back to helping them on the project. Okay. It's choking. Back Start. Yep. Hold it, yeah. Fuel is off right now. Turn fuel, Just turn fuel on. Yep. Well, there's none in there. Choke. Come on. This is work out. See the exhaust. Oh. 